going fishing. That's right, Brucey, we're going fishing again. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of our fun YouTube channel, Hoghead TV. We appreciate it. Today, before we get started, I'm going to show you how I set the tension on my trolling reels for muskies. And you'll see why in the video. So here is my trolling reel right here with a broken rod. And right over here is how we adjust the tension. Tighten to tighten, loosen to loosen. This is a line counter reel that we use. That way we know how many feet of line are out. Usually if I'm running jakes and grandmas and typical crankbaits, we run anywhere from 55 to 95 feet, depending on how deep the water is and where the muskies are at that time. So here's the uh, reel, and I'm going to just pull the line out here. Um, so right now the drag's set way too loose. So if the drag's like that, it's too loose. If a fish hits that and shakes his head, he's probably going to throw the bait out. And if the drag is cranked way down, uh, like you'll see, if it's just like that, you can just barely, barely, barely pull it out, mostly in super cold weather. And then we also had some freezing rain getting uh, on our line in this episode, which created some problems as well. So, but right now the drag's set way too tight. So what I do is I back it off until I can pull the line out relatively uh, hard, but yet fairly easy. That's still a hair too tight. And so right there, I can pull that line out. If a fish hits that and you're going three and a half miles an hour, and that's usually what we troll at, three and a half to four miles an hour, if a fish hits that and shakes his head, he's going to stick most likely with the tension of, of the bolt pulling against him should, should hold no problem. And the beauty of this is if you hit the bottom and snag up, it's not going to break the rod. The line's going to come out. Hope you enjoy this episode of our YouTube clip. Oh my god, it's a good are so cold I can't even get a good stick on it.
holy cow, that was exciting. Well, we finally got a fish in the boat, huh? <laughs> we worked hard for that one, and it was crazy. The temperature was really cold, as you can see. My hands were froze. The rod that broke the day before, we threw up in front and it froze in the net. The net froze to the butt seat. Paul's bait got caught in my bait reeling the fish in. And my hands were so cold we didn't get a good measurement. I don't care much about measuring fish. I just love to catch big ones and let them go. My main concern is to handle the fish carefully and let them go so we all have a chance to catch them again. Thanks for watching.